Stephen, do you know that um, the Spartans are that they are like uh, practice man love with children? Oh, geez. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. I t- what did I tell you? He was going to do anything he could to avoid. Oh. My lovely chat, today is the day. I put it off. I put it off all so I could make sure to watch this for the first time. Completely fresh watch through of it with you guys. So for those of you guys that don't know, Steven Crowder, uh, a few weeks ago, challenged Ethan Klein, popular YouTuber also known as H3H3, to a debate because Ethan Klein had made fun of Crowder on his podcast, the H3 podcast, And um, there was something that Ethan Klein said that got Steven Crowder a little triggered, a little angry, a little mad. Um, And that was, get the vaccine. You can probably trust the scientists and the doctors. It it seems like it's safe. This really upset Crowder because Crowder is an anti-vaxxer, you know? So Ethan Klein decides, let's bring in someone who knows about politics. So he brings in, apparently, brings in sam cedar to debate steven crowder now the reason why this is important and the reason why this is like really fucking funny and awesome is because steven crowder is notoriously terrified of sam cedar sam cedar runs the majority of port a left-leaning news show on youtube he's got over a million subs he's a pretty large figure does politics very well known for being a good debater guy does like a six hour show every single day and does like i'm pretty sure he does debates every show he does call-ins every stream i believe where he does debates so he's pretty well known and pretty well practiced at debating apparently sam cedar gets pulled in and steven crowder has a meltdown i haven't seen it yet i've heard this is fucking legendary so let's just get right into it because i'm so excited for this regarding the cdc Hmm. uh and i disagree with that um i think people should think about it i believe and we said, talked about this through playful ribbing in an aggregation of medical authorities and scientific voices to make an informed and rational decision. Um, so where do you think that, I was, that I'm wrong on that? Steven, do you know that um, the Spartans are, that they are like uh, practice man love with children? Oh, geez. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. I to- what did I tell you? <laughs> he was going to do anything he could to avoid. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh no, Sam Cedar! What a whoa! No. What a fucking nightmare! You, I had no idea this was going to happen. I thought oh, I thought Ethan no. was a stand-up guy. This- oh my God! There's people walking in front of the camera like, the, like his studio is in a panic. Did you see that fucking soy jack he did too? I saw a picture on Twitter of the soy jack that he did, and I didn't know that was actually his reaction to Steve. To is this it? Oh, <laughs> hold on, Stephen. I mean. <laughs> It's okay. about issues. Let's about talk issues. about those yeah. issues. That's what you're doing here. Valid yeah. points. You're so clever. I, I had no idea that. that you were taking your show off early last time, coming in today with your pig pen peanuts. I wish every. You <laughs> <laughs> take those. Off. He actually admitted it. He admitted that he was watching his show to make sure he didn't end early. Oh my god, no, Crowder. Is that the admission? Is that the admission that's that's going to haunt him for the rest of his career? Oh no, Fa- caught in 4K, brother. Caught in 4 fucking K. No shot, buddy. No fucking shot, Steven Crowder. You're done, dude. That'll you'll never be able to let that go. Stuff with the velvet really team buttons. We must have been Black very worried eyes, about this, Stephen. Like I don't know why. <laughs> no one would be worried oh, come about on, it. So Sam, I didn't want to well, do let's, it. Let's have Sam, a debate. Come on, no just, I'll tell you what. I have a general. This. I have a general. This is a great opportunity. I don't start a debate to... based with people on a lie. And how about you get sabotaging? To a, how about you get Stephen? Show yourself, you coward. Stephen, show yourself. Don't show your co-host. Ethan, you should show yourself. Ethan, Ethan, how can you respect yourself as a man, brother? Stephen, Stephen, you are such a coward. Stop showing your little leprechaun co-host who comes right out right dressed hey, like Ethan, your Ethan, sidekick. Come on, Ethan, why do you have to bring I on a show? Show Stephen. I'm really the saddest thing actually. I've ever heard. So you Just have a guy with Steven. less viewers to come on to debate him because you can't. 
Well, obviously, if I'm a obviously I'm if I'm a layup yeah, and not a debater. About it. Well, look, yeah, you're the I one mean, who called. You're, you're the one. It is true. Crowder gave him the out by saying that Ethan was a layup and and would be an easy debate. So why wouldn't Ethan do this? Ethan himself has admitted he doesn't do debates. This was fucking genius. I feel like this is the best it could have possibly gone. When I heard that Ethan was debating Stephen Crowder at first, I was like, uh oh. Stephen Crowder is going to fucking win. And then this happened. My expectations have been blown out of the fucking water with everything that could have happened from this drama. This this is just fucking phenomenal. Stephen the one that got angry about Show it. Show Stephen. Don't be such a coward. Right, hold on. So let me, let me, right, let me hear what, let me hear what Pig Pen has to say here really quick. Fair enough. Show um, but Steven. Ethan, Ethan, look, I, I don't, hold on a second. Ethan, this is because initially Thank I came you. on here to talk with Ethan. Ethan, come on, man. Look, the same reason that I haven't ever had a conversation with Sam Cedars, the same reason that uh, Joe Rogan, uh, Sam Harris, Brett Weinstein, Dave Rubin. He looks so fucking scared and nervous, dude. This is great. You can see how shook he is. My man is like, the reason why they actually had to take the camera off of him was because he shit himself. He actually simultaneously pissed and shit his pants. The second he saw Sam, so they had he had to like they had to switch the camera so he could change his pants and his underwear, and uh, you know wet wipey his his shitty asshole so that he yeah he had a brownout moment, um, and, and so they had to take the camera off of him while he did that, and then he quickly sat down. And they put the camera back on him. When Ben Shapiro don't own anything, it's based on a lie, Ethan. Just what's like you lie? claiming my Ethan. What's the lie? You claiming you know, my booker lie, reached Stephen? out to you, Ethan, when you Stephen, know that's what's not the lie? true. There's no What's one the ducking line? you, Why Sam. You I've so never afraid. Sam, Yo, Sam, listen, Sam, I Sam, think Sam, you're Sam. a smart guy. I can call out Mike I don't Tyson. Understand why it doesn't mean that I'm ducking him. You are so worried about this. Why do you I feel that? Why don't. do you feel that anyone, Sam? Why do you feel that anyone owes you airtime when you have a fortieth of the audience and you've been doing a show think for ten owes times me as long? I'm sorry. I think there's a certain point where if someone's a million subs and you're 30 million subs, you can't justify saying I won't associate with this person because they're smaller than me when that person is a million subs. Like, come on. There's a certain threshold where, like, if you're over a million subs, there's no reason that someone with more subs than you, no matter how much it is, can justify not interacting with you because you have a fucking million subs. Once you're like, there, you're in like the top. 0.01% of channels on YouTube. Time, I think, I think that Ethan has just given it to me. I didn't right. ask him for it. And right. so no, you've been begging for it for a long time is, with everyone Stephen, bigger than why yourself. Are you so yeah, he found you about can't build an audience. audience. And so what why happens is he uploads so 15 times more, do you think has your less than a 50th says, of the audience. Well, that's why he wants to debate you, is so he can build his Sam, audience. Do you Sam, think come on, your where's... audience cares yeah, yeah. that I only have a million subscribers and you have what, six or seven million I subscribers? Think, let me answer. Can I answer your question? Can I answer your question? Can I answer your question? Do sure. you want me to answer your question? My audience would say Sam who? Just like Joe Rogan's audience and Ben well, Shapiro's and Dave Rubin. Now they all Rubin. know who I am. Now they you all know who you are because you had to show on yourself into another coward show. College, college show. students, <laughs> every day that you do that, uh, change we, my hold mind. Hold on a second. Hold they on a second. Know who those college this is another lie. Are? This is another lie. The the let me, let me clarify, Sam. Let me clarify, Sam. The change my mind, everyone knows on the show, right? We've had professors on the- How did you know I ended my show early last week, Stephen? If your audience doesn't even know me- Because you're an idiot. How and half you of your that? staff doesn't Do you like watch my you show? because I'm a diehard fan. Yes, it's because I he's a diehard well, fan. If you're yeah, a I've die heard hard of you, fan, but I just why, met you. Why not? Congratulations, have me Sam Cedars fan. Stephen, have a, a conversation. Oh, Crowder, no, Crowder. Yeah, that's that's all the evidence you need. S Stephen Crowder's team. Steven Crowder and his team were fucking stalking over Sam Cedar's show to make sure he uh, he was live and doing his show, so this couldn't happen. So, uh, Crowder is deathly afraid of Sam Cedar. This is this is like the amount of copium. I I'm getting hit with some of of Crowder's copium that he's huffing every time he's off off stream right now. Because holy shit, the the amount of copium is insane. Man. I, I will like, talk right about every time I try and talk, you're interrupting, to talk about, Sam. Yeah, and right now, I'm trying to talk with you. You're interrupting, Sam. You bombarded Sam. the show. Okay, you, bombarded, you bombarded my show under a false pretense. You claimed bombarded. that ever, just like you claimed that I ducked the debate with you under a false pretense. Have I uh, ever? That is what the Politicon people told me. Oh, is that what the they told you? Well, so you're just lazy yeah. with your research? And if no, big I, tech what, is, you continue with the I lie. Need. They you need to research to say, did Stephen ever they, accept? They said you were let me, let me explain to you. Let me explain they to you. Let me explain to you. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 wh
It's been confirmed. Sam uh, Stephen Crowder was booked to debate Sam Cedar at Politicon and then dropped out at the last second before his public that was going to happen. And Sam leaked the video confirming it. We, we saw the recording earlier. Sam leaked it. It never went public that Sam Cedar was supposed to debate Stephen Crowder. It was planned and it hadn't been announced yet. And then St Stephen Crowder ducked out because his dad, who's his manager, told him not to do it. And you can tell, and this is all corroborated by the fact with how terrified Stephen Crowder has been of Sam Cedar since then. Sam, 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 Sam sweetheart. Cedar. Sam, fake stand-up comic who we can't find any footage about online. Let I'm me not finish. a stand-up comic. Oh, you're not? Okay, that makes sense, because everything that I've seen is incredibly unfunny and unentertaining, well, which may I'm explain the audience. Ironic. The irony alert, Stephen. Comedian. How much have you Comedian. watched of my stuff, the Stephen, irony you alert. Sam? How do you... Do Dude, Sam Cedar does a, admittedly, fairly funny from what I've seen, but, like, pretty serious political show where he talks about the news. Steven Crowder is the one that, that, like, pushes himself as a comedian, and his funniest jokes are, like... Making a shirt that says uh, socialism is for figs with Che Guevara doing like the gay wrist thing that homophobes like to depict gay people as doing and um, doing like a, like <clears throat> doing like a fake black scent or whatever whenever he's taught like taught whenever he's pretending to be a black dude or doing an impression of a black guy where he's like, man, that's some bullshit. Like that's the level of his humor is just like doing impressions of different races and ethnicities and cultures. It's literally his, his fucking, <laughs> that's literally his fucking, uh, uh, Comedy. That your audience can I answer your question? Appreciate our, Sam, our, our discussing Sam, things. Sam, Samuel, can I answer your question? Yes. So you have gone on. You've done the same thing with other other comments. Everyone has a bigger audience than you, because you said I want to speak with Steven Crowder. You believe that at some point there was some acceptance. When have I ever done a, a, a Politicon? Ever. I what don't I, know. As a matter of fact, in the last decade, like in the last decade, in the last decade, I haven't done a single political conference. How I hosted CPAC say, for four years and stopped because they suck. How they don't say, pay okay. and they're full of losers. What about and you've been McGinnis clamoring show. for it. Gavin and it's a lie. Told me that you dropped out of doing how his show because you, this is just here saying go. gossip. But how can I have I've never met more of a woman when he wants well, to keep I debating. To, I, I don't, don't know. Let's talk about the issue. So, Ethan, do you want to have a conversation, Ethan? Let's talk about, about the vaccine. Ethan, do you want to have a conversation? Ethan, you Ethan, want you want to have a conversation? You're going to hide. You absolutely, so I do. About, tech. So why are you hiding behind San Cedar? Oh, no, Cedar. no, no, no me and Sam are aligned. I'm not hiding. Him. He just, well, you're just no, a liar. He so you're a liar. Remember we said, hold on a second, hold on a second. I mean, it sort of feels like you guys are the ones who are hiding. Really? Hiding? Really? No, no, this is actually who snuck in on you? <laughs> Who's the guy who never appears on stage, never does a live show, but it's never a even sheds, never even allows a shadow of comedy to be perceived on his program? It's just hiding. <laughs> right. Everything we do is out in the open. H three, H three. Stephen, you're wearing a holster. Dude, you can hear. Do you guys hear the breaking in Crowder's voice, where his voice keeps going high, and he's like. You've never been like his voice keeps cracking because he's so flustered. He's trying so hard to keep his cool and play it off like it's funny and he's just joking around. But like how flustered he is and how scared he is is like shining through so, so clearly. Reed. So what? Hold on a second. Yeah. So I want to normalize uh, responsible gun ownership. Is that your debate? No wonder you had to bring in a hack for you. you. Well, no, you're talking about comedy. Well, that's I mean, you know, that's right not very funny. funny. You're a holster, bro. Also, you're you have a holster, bro. You're a holster, bro. He takes you, advantage you, of you, mentally you, ill you, women you, for a show with just about women. Women. Yeah, yeah, all right. Right. Okay. All of it. All right, Sam. You, you you got it. You got it. I hope you have no, a wonderful highlight reel. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me just make one point. Hope you enjoy Politicon. Hold on, let me make one point, Steven. Take it easy. Steven, right, don't thanks, bail. Guys. I appreciate it. Don't it's bail, adorable. you coward. Uh, hey, Sam, one thing before I go. One thing before I go. Can you take off your glasses? Steven? Hold on. One thing before I go. I Can you take off your glasses? We just want to see. I just want to see if you take them off, if you have the, if you have the Velveteen Rabbit buttons. That's the oh, only thing I'm curious about. It's the only I, interesting part about Steven, or if I, there's a soul. Let's just take debate. Off the, take off the glasses. Let's debate, uh, Steven. Don't hide behind the glasses. Don't be a coward. Let's debate, Ethan. You've lost a Debate. Right. debate the issues. What does it matter who you debate, coward? <laughs> All right, good. You guys <laughs> well, are good. Thank you. Coward. You won't even take off the glasses. Uh, I was right. All right, yeah. You, can, uh, you, can run, away. This you is... run away twice. <laughs> Cold feet again. Come on, David. Wow. You ran. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> wow. Dude, I can't believe he admit to following.
He admitted that he followed the show <laughs> last week. We got him. He admitted that he watched the show last we week. We got we him. Dude, we played him so hard because oh. he he literally was following. He oh saw that you went God. live, dude. We fucking got him. Oh, my God. We fucking nailed him. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> so do you want to respond to... Here, you want to throw him up, Dan? Yeah. Do you want to... That looks so bad for Steven Crowder, dude. Holy shit, that looks so bad. Hold on. Wait. If anyone else was confused as to why Crowder kept asking Sam to remove his glasses, here's an explanation from Reddit. TLDR, it's because uh, Crowder is an anti-Semite. Interesting. Steven manages to, qui uh, to quiet everyone and get their attention. Then instead of making a point or debating anything, he requests that Sam remove his glasses. This is really odd and confused both Sam and Ethan, with Sam looking visibly confused. He then says to Sam, I want to see if you have the little velveteen rabbit buttons, which adds to the confusion because it's not really an expression. But then his co-host also mutters, or if there's a soul. It then dawned on me that velveteen rabbit eyes are just shiny black half globes and that Crowder and his co-hosts are insinuating that Sam has soulless beady black eyes, a very common anti-Semitic stereotype. I had, to I had to Google to see if Sam was Jewish because I'm not racist and can't tell if someone is Jewish based entirely on appearance, and lo and behold, he is. I don't know, that could be a bit of a stretch. I would, I would shy away from that unless there was more evidence that Steven Crowder was an anti-Semite, because if you start... If you start claiming he's an anti-Semite and then you your your evidence when someone asks you to prove it is to point at him saying to somebody to take off their glasses to see if they have soulless eyes, like that's such a, to most people, it's going to be a massive reach. To most people who aren't already extremely familiar with, uh, with, with, with that kind of thing, it's going to, it's going to seem like a really big reach. He is absolutely an anti-Semite, but it's, you, you the burden of proof would be on you and you're going to have a hard time convincing people of that. Um, but I mean, I, I would agree. I would agree that it's probably a dog whistle, but I wouldn't make that statement definitively because that's such a, that, that's such a hard thing to prove, you know? Regardless though, that was fucking crazy. That was glorious. We'll watch a little bit more of it because I want to see, I want to see the reaction. I want to respond to anything he said now that he's not talking over you. Um, well, I, I mean, look, uh, he's obviously lying about the idea that he wouldn't want to do, uh, do a debate with me because his audience wouldn't know. Here's a guy who literally tracked my show last week because he was afraid that this would happen. He is a, here's a guy who, right. uh, claims to have watched, I don't know, I, I don't know what it is he said he watched, but he's not worried about audience not knowing who he's debating because he sits down with random college kids and sandbags them on uh, their campus. He, I have the recording from Politicon when they called and he backed out. I have emails from Gavin McGinnis, whose show I would have never gone on, except he offered up a debate with Crowder and Crowder left. And so, you know, I think Stephen is afraid of debating somebody. You know, look, I do a political show every day. It's yeah, dry, I don't. it's boring, it's, it's obvious. and you don't. Yeah, exactly. And, 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 and so afraid. if he wants to debate the issues, what's the difference between me and anybody in the world? That is just fucking legendary. Oh, wait, hold on. We got to look at the Crowder Cope really quickly. We got to look at the Crowder Cope. A an hour or two after this debate went public. An hour or two after this debate went public. Mind you, he's getting ratioed in the comments. Good, good job, STL. Um... Huge show tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern time with a very special guest at Donald Trump Jr. So he had to bring Donald Trump Jr. on for a Hugbox Cope stream uh, to, uh, to, to help recover emotionally and uh, uh, anally, of course, from St Sam Cedar's surprise appearance. Like, I'm sorry, no shot. It, Crowder's done, dude. Crowder... In, in the broader, like, social, like, like, normie space now, Crowder is fucking done after that, I feel like. A lot of people are going to lose respect for Crowder after this. It's no shot, dude. It's fucking done. Crowder is fucked. That whole admittance to following uh, Sam Cedar's show to make sure he was live and not going to jump in, like, going out of his way to avoid any interaction with Sam Cedar... There's no justification for that other than being terrified. He's fucking done. That was fucking... Good shit.
Good shit, Ethan. That was fucking legendary. That was goddamn fucking legendary. Well, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, ring the bell icon if you haven't already so YouTube actually tells you when I upload or go live on my channel. Um, you can also follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram through the links in the description, as well as joining my fan Discord through the link in the description. My fan Discord is a cool community for people who enjoy my content or generally just interested in politics. There's a lot of people to talk to there, debate. You might even be able to debate debate me on something if you want to. Um, so yeah, be, be sure to join my fan Discord. Not only that... But um, you can also support me financially if you want to by either donating or subscribing my, on my website, xanderhall.com forward slash live, super chatting or hitting the join button to become a channel member on my web or on YouTube, sorry, or subbing or prime subbing on Twitch. All of those things are appreciated. You could also pledge me on Patreon or if you're super based, there's a, a, a link in the description of every single video to... Um, my merch shop, where you can buy Xander Hall merch. There's quite a bit of it from what I've seen, and I think I, I priced it pretty fairly. Like, I barely make any profit on any of them. I just, I put it, like, at the bare minimum so that the cost would cover the, uh, the like, the need to, like, how much to it costs to make it. So, yeah. Um, all the things, you know, if you want to. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support, and have a good one.